Welcome back, I'm Theo, a content creator for the Alt Crypto Talk team, and in this video I will be showing you how to use the Aerodrome DEX, which is home to the BASE network. As you may know, BASE has become a dominant layer 2 network since the launch of its mainnet, and Aerodrome has become the leading decentralized exchange within the BASE ecosystem. And you may also know that they are the sister project of Velodrome, which is home to the Optimism network and dominates the decentralized exchange competition on that network also. Now remember, nothing in this video financial advice purely my own opinion and based on my own research do not invest in anything you can't afford to lose use a different wallet if you feel more secure and be sure to smash that like and subscribe button leave a comment if you have any questions whatsoever and be sure to follow us on twitter at alt crypto gems for daily crypto content and check out our website for frequent guides project reviews articles and everything crypto related Right then, let's get straight into the video. So before I show you how to use Aerodrome, I just want to show you DeFi Llama stats. And this, for example, is the total value locked across all chains. And as you can see, Base is the eighth largest network across every network out there. Now, the statistics might not be 100% accurate. However, they're basically there. And as you can see, Base has a TVL of $346 million and is one of the largest layer two networks out there. Now, if I click on Base and we scroll down, we'll see that Aerodrome is the number one protocol in the platform form holding 98.79 million dollars worth of TVL out of the whole chain and as you can see Frentech follows second with 45 Stargate 26.7 which has been around for a longer time compound as well beefy curved X base swap and so on so obviously aerodrome is the number one protocol on base overall so let's head over to the website and I'm going to do so by clicking on aerodrome over here it's a safe way to find links and then we go over to where it says website so we're on aerodrome.finance and as you can see is the central trading and liquidity marketplace on base now before we carry on guys you're going to either need to have a metamask wallet or a coinbase wallet you're going to need to connect your wallet from the top right corner and we're going to have to switch over to the base network to continue so continue you can also adjust your settings like putting a specific rpc slippage tolerance transaction execution deadline and allowing unsafe trades x y and z so i just want to mention guys before we carry on that months ago i created a velodrome tutorial when the optimism network started thriving and basically a few months down the line what happens I get an airdrop from a protocol called extra finance and they happened to airdrop me roughly hundred and fifty dollars worth of tokens at the time when I was able to sell which is absolutely fantastic and all I did was provide a little bit of liquidity on the velodrome protocol as well as providing a little bit of volume by swapping and also locking up some tokens I was able to get the airdrop now obviously you're going to receive some dodgy airdrops however there are some legitimate ones and some that can make you some money so if you are interested in just using the protocol to farm airdrops, then by all means, Aerodrome is a great place to do so, as they'll probably get some airdrops in the future from other protocols that launch on base. Now, let's start off with the first and easiest thing to do on the Aerodrome protocol, which is swapping. Now, this is probably what most of you are going to come here to do, because you're probably going to want to swap tokens on the base network. So you go over to the swap tab, and I'm assuming, guys, you already have Ethereum in your wallet. If you don't, then you're going to have to get some Ethereum over to the base network, which you can either use the official base bridge or you can also use orbiter finance which i'm very fond of and they are doing their very own airdrop which i'll leave linked in the description below now continuing as you can see i've got three dollars and sixty cents worth of usd base however i haven't got any aerodrome tokens so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my eth and i'm going to swap it into let's just say the usd base coin which is basically usdc but just on the base network let's just say i do 0.02 so swap eth for usd base cool basically nothing is basically a free transaction to swap it over absolutely love it wait for the transaction fantastic that has been confirmed so we have 36 dollars and 26 cents now and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to show you how to provide liquidity liquidity and we'll be swapping some more tokens now if we go over to dashboard firstly you'll show all the liquidity pools of your own and the locks and the voting and also on but we haven't got anything obviously because we've just begun now if we go over to liquidity we want to deposit some liquidity but we will first want to find a nice pool one that is relatively safe however relatively nice for rewards so we're going to be looking at apr and we're going to be looking at the total value lock now if i click it by apr we can trigger the highest apr percentages you can do it by fees you can do it by volume but let's just say we're looking for an, a nice apr trying to find one that's relatively safe so let's just say we do this wrapped eth with usdc which is the base usdc which we've got of our own so say we click this first we need to actually switch into wrapped eth but if you go back if you just go to deposit liquidity you can also create your own pool or deposit into your own pool so for example if i want to choose aero token up the top and then say if i want to choose i don't know usd base that we can do so first let's do this we've got an apr of 216 percent which is absolutely incredible and i think this would be a great one to do 
Now, I'm going to go back over to swap. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap some of my USDC into Aero token. So let's say I do $5.40 worth of tokens. We have to click this allow as we have to approve the smart contract. Make sure you approve the amount that you want to do for your spending cap. Total of two cents in gas fees. Superb. That's just to approve the smart contract. Then after it's been allowed, we're allowed to swap our tokens. So in all, that is practically free. So two to three cents worth of fees just to swap tokens on the Aerodrome protocol on the base network. I think that is absolutely incredible. And I think base will be a thriving ecosystem in the next bull run. So we've now got our Aero tokens, as we can see. And what we can do is we can go back to liquidity. We're going to click deposit liquidity. We're now going to click 152.35 Aerodrome. And it's going to automatically put in both $5.40 worth of Aerodrome tokens and $5.40 worth of USDBC. But because we swapped it took a six cent fee therefore it was a nine cent overall transaction for the cost anyway and we have five dollars and 34 cents worth of aero and five dollars 34 cents worth of usdc and we now have to allow both of the contracts which is basically approving the smart contracts that we did before click max and next do the same thing for usdbc super speed and super cheap very fond of this so far guys click deposit although i have one pending transaction i'll just queue it up so it has now been deposited as we can see and now what we can do is we can stake our deposit. So we go over here and we're going to stake 100% of it. So we have to allow the smart contract once again. A lot of approving guys. Now, like I said in the beginning of the video, you can use a different wallet address if you feel safer. And you can always just send tokens to, that you want to keep in your main wallet. So I'm going to click stake now because we can approve it confirm the transaction you don't have to stake 100 percent it's all up to you but i like to do 100 percent of it staking confirmed now if we go over to our dashboard we can see that we've deposited and staked liquidity which is absolutely incredible the next thing you can do is lock up your tokens which allows you to vote on future proposals basically granting access to the aerodrome dow so if we create a lock as you can see we're going to need to get our hands on more aero tokens unless you wanted to do 0.01199 however let's go and get some aero tokens so we go to swap we can use some of our usdc again we don't have to do much we can just do say three dollars worth allow usdbc max and confirm once it's approved once again we can then swap it takes maybe 30 seconds to get your tokens so confirm it and swap swap confirmed now if we go back over to lock go create a lock as you can see, we've got 84.64, so let's just do max. And you can choose to lock it for any amount that you like. If you lock it for seven days, you get 0.4 aero V aero voting power, which is not so good. But if you do it for the full four years, you basically get the full amount of 84.36 V aero. So this will give you an NFT revert to as a V NFT. You can increase your lock amount or extend the lock amount at any point after this point. So if you feel like adding more than you can, if you feel like withdrawing, well, I'm afraid not. You're going to have to wait the amount that you've obviously locked it up for. So if you do it for four years, then obviously you have to wait four years until you see these tokens again. And obviously there's no promise that the token price will be the same as if you bought it. It could be more, it could be less. So bear that in mind, everyone. Locking it for four years is literally locking it for four years. Now we've locked up our tokens. As we can see, we create another lot. We can then merge it into one. We can also increase it, extend it, like I said, and you can also transfer it to someone else. So if we go back to dashboard, as we can see, we've now got our deposited and staked liquidity we've got locks which we've locked for four years we've got liquidity rewards and obviously we haven't voted so we don't have any rewards however you go to vote as you can see you can choose a pool to vote for say if we want to do error with usdbc which we've done and we're already participating in however this seems to be a different one we click select ready for vote if i move my camera over now and click the vote button so let's just say i use 100 percent of my voting power which would be 84.39 you just click vote and then you click confirm and you've officially voted Voted. Now, if we go back, and we go over to the dashboard, scroll down. Soon enough, we'll see some rewards from voting. And that's basically it, guys. If you want to claim your rewards, if you scroll down, you'll be able to see your emissions. Now you just click claim and it'd be as simple as that. It would go straight into your wallet, nothing else. 216% of APR is amazing. And then from here, guys, if you get any airdrops, fantastic, but just be careful. But guys, that's pretty much it. If you want to check out other tutorials and other crypto videos, make sure to head over to our YouTube channel, which you're already on because you're watching this video. Thanks for watching. We appreciate your support. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're interested in airdrop tutorials, then we have an abundance of that on our YouTube channel. Don't forget, we've also got a promotion running on Bybit, the best centralized exchange platform for buying, trading and earning. Bybit is home to all your favorite cryptocurrencies and you can claim up to $4,380 just by signing up using the link in the description below. It's simple. If you need help finding the right crypto gems, then follow us on Twitter at Alt Crypto Gems and head over to our website to get your hands on detailed project reviews, crypto guides and more. 
Thank you very much for watching and we hope you found this video helpful and informative. Until next time, DJs.